Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Ion, a compound building game. And that's actually what you're going to be doing. You're going to be making ionic bonds with different elements. Um, and this is actually a science-based game that's sort of half fun, half education. The uh, John Covey, and I, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. If I'm, I'm wrong, I apologize, from Genius Games, um, sent this along for me to check out. They're going to be up on Kickstarter uh, in no time. And... You know, it's not every day I get a game prototype that Emily, my wife, grabs on her own, reads the instructions, and teaches me how to play. Usually I have to get her to play with me. Um, and it speaks to the um, sort of the interest in science and STEM and, 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 and trying to bring that and, and, and help people understand it and enjoy it. And I think this game delivers. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the game. Um, Essentially, this is a drafting game, and what that means is each player is going to start with eight cards, or eight elements, and on each of our turn, uh, we're going to play a, pick a card and play a card, and then hand over our, our drafted deck. So we're going to be working through these eight cards, taking turns with each deck, and what that does is it means that we're going to um, know what's in both decks, but have to take turns taking them out. Now, what you're doing with your drafting is essentially you're trying to score by creating ionic bonds, which is a positive and negative ion on these element cards. And, and then you have noble gases, which we'll talk about in a second. So, um, say I play um, fluoride down. I'll play it face down, and, and, and uh, the other player will play it as well, their card. And then I flip, and now I have fluoride showing. On my next turn... I can then, you know, assuming I got it from the other deck, play uh, potassium here. And since the, th this is a negative and this is a positive, I can make them ba uh, bonded. Um, if I don't want to, I can leave them unbonded, but the only way to score is by having bonded cards. So what you're trying to do is have as many negatives and posi positives as possible to get to zero. And then you add the points at the bottom here. So that's how you're basically going to score the cards in front of you. The other thing is there's noble gases like neon, and these score by stacking them two for the first, uh, two points for the first, five for the second, three for the third. So this is very standard, very standard card drafting play. Um, another game that has a lot of similar elements is Sushi Go, which is very popular. I actually like this game more than Sushi Go. The thing that makes this game for me more interesting than Sushi Go is you're, you're building your, your, your points on your, your side and, 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 and your opponent on theirs, but there's a couple common things you can do in the middle. So you'll notice that there's uh, some cards in the middle that are laid out. Now, each of us gets three special ability cards that you're going to use over, or squares, you're going to use over the course of three rounds. One says, take from center, which lets you take a card from the center. One says select two, which lets you play two cards from the draft, and then you have to refill one. And the last says, you know, uh, reaction, RXN, which allows you to reform your, your cards in front of you as well as potentially steal a loose bond from, uh, a loose element from somebody else. Um, the nice thing is that these are balanced with some different negative scores, and you'll notice there's a whole stack of them, so you sort of select them together at random, or they're, 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 they have like a a little al alphabet key, so you have a, a good balance of points. So you never know how much it's going to cost you to use one of these uh, abilities, which is a nice touch. The other thing that happens is you have some... Um, um, what, you, what are these called? Some, some, some compounds, that's right. Some compounds of different types. And as a player, you can form either compound, so a specific bond, you're, a specific compound you're trying to make, and then you can score points along the side. So you have some community goals that you're working towards as players. That helps with the, the drafting dynamic. That's it. It's simple. It's fun. It gets you thinking about, you know, ionic bonds. It gets you thinking about compounds. Now, you're going to make some weird ones with just trying to get the positive and negative ones, but the actual compound cards are driving you to known compounds, and there's a, you know, whole variety of them that you can do. And it's fun. It's light. I think it's a good intro to, 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 you know, compounds and ionic bonds and elements and all that stuff. And it's fun. It's just enjoyable. It's a nice lightweight drafting game. Recommended. Uh, fun for adults who are into science. Fun for kids who are learning about science. So the Kickstarter should be live. Check it out. Thanks. Bye.